Hey guys, it's Andrew and welcome back to my channel. Hope you all have been well. Ah, it's been so long. I know, I'm sorry. I've missed y'all, hope you missed me. <laughs> it has been like three months since I have posted and that is easily the longest break I have ever taken in my 13 years of making videos. And if I'm being honest, didn't really mean to take a break, it just kinda happens. I've been needing to take some time for myself, been dealing with a lot of unfortunate family stuff, but we're back. Hello. Still, it's, it's me. How is everyone? Are, are you guys still alive? Are we good? Okay. Y'all, we have a lot to catch up on. Um, first of all, hair, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm back to doing it down like this. It doesn't look good most days. Dare I say I'm looking a little bit more British than I bargained for. I went to a new hairdresser a while ago and he straight up told me that he thought my hairstyle was ugly and that my forehead was too big and that I should be wearing it down like this because I'm young. Quite frankly, I loved the audacity, so here we are. Like, <laughs> I walked in and he was like, nice to meet you, you're ugly. Oh, my hair's also been falling out. My hair? Like, remember how curly my hair used to be? It's like not doing that anymore. I don't know what's going okay, on. Okay, enough about my hair. Stop looking. As you can see from the title of this video, today I am doing an expired food mukbang. So, fun <laughs> little story. Um, my apartment building had a cockroach infestation. Yay! So, the other week we had to do this big roach treatment where they came and like sprayed everything. So annoying. I had to take every single thing out of my kitchen and put it in a different room. And holy shit, I have so much kitchen stuff. Like, I had to take everything out. Everything out of my pantry. And after they sprayed, as I was putting everything back in my pantry and stuff, I realized I have so much food that is going bad or has already gone bad. So today, I thought we would do a kitchen clear out mukbang. This, I feel like this is going to be like somewhat of a controversial video. Like, for example, my mom Susan is very adamant about not eating stuff past the Best Buy date, but my mom Julie, she'll eat anything. I was just on the phone with her and she said she was drinking almond milk that expired in like December. That's a little too much for me, but she said it tasted fine. Anyways, I have a bunch of random food items that expired a month ago or are about to expire. So today, I thought I would cook them all and then do a little mukbang. Just little hangout time. I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram, so I figured I will cook everything and then go through those questions, catch up, hang out, have a good time. But first, let's do a haul of all of the expiring food I have in my kitchen. I made a little basket. Oh, okay. First, I have this soup that I bought at Costco like two years ago. Karen and Jeff's Thai coconut milk soup. This, we actually have some time. We have a few months with this one. This came in a two-pack though, and I remember drinking the first one and it was not good. So, we'll see. Next up, I have this Annie's gluten-free vegan mac and cheese. Oh, okay, this says best if used by March 2nd, 2022. Okay, I don't know about this The one. thing is it says best buy. It's not like expired. So it could still be good. We'll see, we'll make it and see. <laughs> as long as I don't die, I'm fine. All right, next up I have this Uptown, another like packaged mac and cheese, I don't know. Okay, I have these dehydrated Plant Boss taco meatless meat crumbles. I don't really know. I actually have two of these. I've never made them before, but you essentially just rehydrate them and then cook them. I think it's textured pea protein. That's by February, 2023. I think that's fine. That wasn't that long ago, right? We'll see, we'll see. I have a bunch of black beans that are about to go bad. I was thinking of maybe making like a black bean patty, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I might just eat the beans plain. <laughs> I don't have any onions. I don't have any ingredients that I would do that with. And the freezer, okay, I feel like if stuff is frozen, then it doesn't go bad. And I know that that is not true. I said it was a feeling. We have some gluten-free veggie pop stickers that expired best before November. Oops. I have these vegan drumsticks that I got from like that vegan 420 mukbang haul thing I did a couple years ago. Best by 8-5-2022. I think some of this stuff, I'm just gonna like cook it and if it smells a little off, then I'll throw it away. But if it smells okay, then I'll keep okay, it. Okay, I feel like some of you guys are judging me. I have some vegan shrimp. Ew, this looks gross. I don't know why I have this. Oh my god, I still have these, but we hate these. We don't like these. And they're expired. I think I'm just gonna throw them away, sorry. Some Trader Joe's seasoned corn ribs. Oh, I have some more of these pot stickers that have also expired. Oh my god, I have some Beyond Burgers. How long do these last? Oh, best before October 27th. Okay, actually, this is like an intervention. This is a problem. Why don't I eat the food I buy? Okay, I have some frozen split pea soup. Where's the expiration date? I don't see an expiration date. But I have had this for about two years. <laughs> I feel like some of you guys are already clicking off in disgust. That's classist. Okay. Oh my god, I also have some random frozen veggie burger. I think these say they expired March of last year. Pardon me, not expired. They just say March of last year with no word, just the date. So maybe they're still good? Let's find out. Oh my god, I have some pancake batter that's gonna expire in two months. Should I make, should we make pancakes? Maybe we'll make pancakes, we'll see. The day is young. Okay, I feel like this is just about everything that's going bad besides the stuff I already threw away. So I think I'm just gonna turn the camera off and go ahead and cook and prepare all of this. If it smells like it's actually bad, I'm gonna throw it away. But I have a feeling like, I don't know. 
A lot of this stuff is in the freezer since I bought it. I feel like it could be okay. We'll see. Expired food mukbang. Has anyone else done this before? I mean, innovation is alive and well. Okay, I'm gonna cook everything and I will see you when it's done. Oh my god. I look like a poor little British boy. All right, y'all, quick update. I'm in the middle of cooking everything. This Annie's vegan mac and cheese I'm a little scared of, I can't lie. The packet is very ominous, and I don't think I'm gonna eat that. But I found a few other things that I forgot to mention. I have this little, I don't know, some random noodle thing. And then I have some bonza mac and cheese that expires this month, so I'm gonna eat this instead of that. We got the corn ribs in the oven, we got the water boiling, we got some daring chicken that I also found. Okay, that's pretty much the update. We'll see what I end up with. All righty, folks, we have arrived. It's like two hours later. I don't know why that took so long. As you can see, we've had some fallen soldiers. If you can imagine, some of the things that expired last year when I opened them, they didn't smell good, so I threw them away. <laughs> but we have all the survivors here. These all seem edible and like they won't harm me. Some of them are past their best by date, but aren't we all? Um, please ignore all the pans behind me. I did a lot of cooking. I did set off my fire alarm, but we're here now. Okay, let's, let me give you a haul. Here we have the Trader Joe's corn rib expiring later this month. We have a can of black beans. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, perfect. I have so many of these little truff sauces that are also gonna expire soon or have expired. They don't have dates on them, <laughs> but I've had them for a so while. So I'll put that on top of the beans. Wow, delicious. Gourmet. Next up, uh, the mac and cheeses that I initially showed you, they they scared me a little. But I had this bonza one that's expiring this month, so I made that. Fuck it, let's throw some chives on it. This meal is a gourmet gastrointestinal disaster. Some basil from my mother's garden? Um. <laughs> sure. Next up, I have some of this Thai coconut milk soup. They say to serve it cold, so I poured some in a glass. That's the end of that story. Next up, I have these pot stickers. Burn them a little. That's okay. And their dipping sauce. We have that random unlabeled frozen bag of split pea soup that I found in my freezer. So heated that up. It smells fine. Next up, we have this Plant Boss taco meat crumble stuff. I'm a little suspicious. It smells like cardboard. And then lastly, I have a bag of daring chicken that was in my freezer that I need to use, so I cooked that up as well. A meal. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Not a lot survived the sniff test. Vibes shifted once packages were open. Oh my god, I also have this random pre-made cocktail that I got in a PR kit back in 2021. Should I open it? I don't know what it is. Some TV show. I think it was like a horror thing. There is no info on it. If I don't drink it now, I'm probably never going to, so let's give it a try. I don't like the smell of it. Oh, no, that wasn't good. Dark alcohol is gross. Okay, I believe that's everything. Here is our spray. Inspired food mukbang begins now. Let me get a little refreshment. I have some Topo Chico. Topo Chico's insane. This shit is bubbly as f I'm kind of scared. And an acid leak apple cider vinegar tonic, my fave. All right, let's get into it. I got a fork, I got a spoon. The question's here. Okay, what should we... How should we do this? Okay, honestly, I'm most curious about this. Let's just try this, get it out of the way. This is dried textured pea protein with flavorings that was soaked in water and then heated up on the pan until it absorbs all of the moisture. It smells like cardboard with just a hint of fajita seasoning. They say to use this like you would taco meat. Let's give it a try. Um, <laughs> It's not bad. It is not good though. It is not good. It kind of tastes like what I imagine like eating packing peanuts would feel like. Okay, it's not terrible though. I would eat this in like, a, this would be good in like a quesadilla, yeah. you know, covered in something else to mask the flavor. <laughs> okay, so we have that. <laughs> okay, now let's try these corn ribs. These are not expired yet, but I am curious why they're a thing. They have the cob connected to them. I think you're supposed to eat them like ribs. Let's, sure. Oh, ah. Uh. Okay, sure. That's fun, I guess. It's like normal corn, but just cut up in a new way. Everybody's so creative. Okay, not bad. Now let's try the mac and cheese. This looks divine. Mm. Yeah, that's delicious. Best by date was a month ago. Guys, okay, can you tell that my hairline's receding? I'm freaking out. Since the last time I saw you guys, my hair has been falling out, like, so much. Like, I'm scared. Like, I I did not sign up for this part of being a man. Like, I'm gay. We should be allowed to keep our hair. Something about male pattern baldness feels inherently heterosexual, and I don't want a part of it. 
I don't know why this mac and cheese just made me think of that. <laughs> Alright, let's look at some of these questions you guys have. If you're not following me on Instagram, I also haven't been posting much on there either. <laughs> but, um, we're working on it. We're back. Okay. okay, someone says, will you get a pet? Honestly, I thought I would have one by now. <coughs> Time has been moving so fast this past year, I'm scared. Someone says, what are your opinions on Indian food considering there are a lot of vegan options? Love Indian food. One of my favorite cuisines. My opinions, love it. I just had curry for dinner last night. Mm, divine. Ooh, speaking of, our, our, it's Thai, so not Indian. But, it's curry-ish. Anyways, let's try this. Thai coconut milk soup. Huh. That's not bad. It's pretty good. It kind of tastes like water with a little bit of carrot and then a little bit of curry seasoning. <laughs> but it's good. I'd give that a six out mm, Yeah, six out of ten. D minus. <laughs> this came in a two pack and I remember eating the first jar like a year and a half ago and not thinking it was good at all. Now I find it somewhat palatable, so that's an improvement. I see it's been aging finely in my pantry. Someone said do you share your bed with soft toys and have conversations with them? What? No. Soft toys in the bed? What are you gonna do with that? <laughs> um, okay, I assume you're talking about like stuffed animals. That's like a thing, like cuddle buddy things. I know that's a thing, like adults with stuffed animals all over their bed. Um, no, I do not. Do you? Also, why? I just I'm just curious. Are y'all are y'all humping them? <laughs> um, yeah, no, my answer is no. Someone said, what is the thing you were looking forward to the most for the next few months? I don't know, you guys, gotta be honest. Feeling a little dead inside lately. <laughs> I guess I'm looking forward to my birthday. June 26th, I'm turning 26. It's my golden birthday. Yeehaw. Let's, okay, let's try one of these. Um, I did burn them a little. There was a lot going on, guys. Whoa. All right, here's a little dipping sauce. Let's see, are these still good? <laughs> Okay. What was the best by date? What was the best by date on those? <laughs> mm, okay. These say best before December 18th. That I would have to agree with. <laughs> Someone said, "Why are you still in California, LA?" I don't know. What? Is there somewhere else I should be? Uh, someone said, do you have a favorite comedian? Um, if you asked me this question like maybe five years ago, I probably would say Chelsea Peretti. But she hasn't been doing much stand-up. I will say though, if you don't know my friend Alexis, she's been doing monthly comedy shows and those have been really fun. I did my debut stand-up set in her February show. If you were there, cool. Most of you probably weren't. She does a monthly though and last month she had Sarah Shower on. And holy shit, she is so funny. Her set was so good. Like, laugh, 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 laugh. It's been a month, I'm still not over. Sarah Shower, I'm rooting for her. Someone says, what's the best way to make new queer friends as an adult? Um, be codependent? <laughs> I've made a lot of friends that way. <laughs> 666. Antichrist responded with a photo. I didn't even know that was possible. But okay, thank you. And then they asked what my workout routine is. Um, I don't know, I just have a trainer. <laughs> my trainer Cody, love him, he's great. I'll drop his Instagram link below if you're in LA looking for a trainer. But yeah, I don't know, I just go Monday, Wednesday, Friday and do what he tells me to do. <laughs> Someone said, ooh, I want a cookbook tour. Ones you reach for often versus which are the most fun or expiring. Okay, I'm down. Here, uh, let me move the camera. Okay, I don't know what you guys are about to see. If it's messy, don't judge. Okay, over here is my little shelf with all my cookbooks. One of my favorites is definitely this Jelena cookbook. I come back to her all the time. Jelena was like my first favorite restaurant here in LA when I moved like, what year is it? Oh my God, it's almost been eight years. Okay, anyways. I've been cooking out of this for years and just the other week I like went through it again. And there's so much shit that I just for some reason never bookmarked. I guess maybe I didn't know what things were eight years ago. But yeah, love coming back to this one. Love her. Love Miyoko's homemade vegan pantry. She's a classic. Oh, I also was just going through Andy Barragani's book. There's definitely like a lot of meat and dairy stuff in here. But still a lot of good stuff in here. I got a lot of pages bookmarked. Oh, here's also my new microwave. Guys, look at her. Sexy, right? Thank you. Okay, back over here. Okay. Let's try this split pea soup. It smells delicious. Yeah. I think that's okay to eat. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh, and these are these taste perfectly fine. I've just been eating them. Someone says, do you enjoy having your own place? Um, yeah. Definitely, I do miss. Chris was really good at, like, decorating. I definitely still don't have much up on the walls. Need to work on that. <laughs> but I'd say, yeah. It's more expensive. Someone said, do you think number seven is blue or purple? And are we being fucking serious here? It's literally yellow. Like, right? Moving on. Are you still primarily a vegetarian? Yes, and my anniversary is coming up. I haven't eaten meat in over 13 years. Someone said, have you considered adopting since you and Booger are no longer roommates? 
Yes, I have considered adopting Booger. It is not an option. <laughs> Someone said, how was your first stand-up experience? It was okay. As I just mentioned, I did a set back in February at Alexis Dizal's monthly comedy show. It was good. I only had 10 minutes, and the day before I was running through my set, it was 15 minutes long. So I had to cut a lot out, and it kind of messed with me. So I was very nervous, very out of my body, but everyone told me I did a good job, so I'll take it. <laughs> Alexis did record it. There is video evidence, but I will not be showing that to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> you will have to come to a potential future show. It's not like terrible, but I don't feel great about it. Maybe if I um, did better, <laughs> I would show you. I had a lot of fun though. It was such a fun experience. Loved getting outside of my comfort zone. Stand up is something I've always seen myself doing. I'm just scared. What can I say? I'm just a boy. <laughs> Someone says, what has been the dish? Oh my God, wait, we haven't even tried the black beans. Hold on, let's get into it. I don't know why I said that like this was some dish. <laughs> it is a can of black beans that are about to expire in a bowl with some hot sauce. And that is exactly what they taste okay, like. Okay, someone asked, or excuse me, not just someone. Wine Slut 69 asks, what has been the dish slash meal you keep making over and over lately? It is not fennel season, but I cannot stop making fennel arugula citrus salad. Shaved fennel, arugula, a little red onion, a little parm, a little balsamic dressing or like a lemon vinaigrette. Save the fronds from the fennel to sprinkle on top. I've made a version of that salad probably like five times in the past month. What else? Oh, I've been really into making pear pizzas. Been doing a lot of that. Oh my God, beets, pickled beets. Obsessed with. Someone said, what's a dream of yours? Uh, the other week I had a dream that I accidentally murdered someone and then I had to hide the body. I did not like that. I woke up covered in sweat. So that was one. Someone said, are you gonna do more comedy shows? I missed the last and I am devastated. Yes, motivate me too. <laughs> I thought coming off of that show I'd have a lot more motivation to do more, but I haven't done any more since, so. But I plan to. Oh my God, guys. Coachella? Okay, I didn't go, but you know how Coachella just happens? Rosalia? I didn't know anything about Rosalia, to be honest, but I watched her Coachella set on the YouTube live stream, and holy shit, I'm a fan. That bitch eats. Her whole set was so good. I literally watched both weekends. I'm a new fan. I'm obsessed. Need to see her in concert. Don't know what she's saying at all. <laughs> Could not tell you a single lyric, but I love it. Someone said, show me your favorite socks. Bitch, for free? I know what some of y'all like. Someone said, thoughts on T-Swizzle. I've never heard of her. Do you miss living with Chris? Yeah, definitely. I miss him being around. I miss him being on this side of the country. He is 3,000 miles away. Or, excuse me, 2,400. Someone said, have you ever seen a pregnant person? I don't think so. Someone said, who do you miss right now? Probably my grandpa who just died. And Beyonce, where are the visuals? Someone said, I feel like we are besties, you know? I literally don't know you. Sorry. <laughs> so many people are saying, how are you? Guys, I'm fine. Uh, oh my God, guys, I got in a car accident. I haven't even told you guys about my new car. Well, I already crashed it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was just a small fender bender. But there have been so many annoying things about my new car. Honestly, it has not been the best experience. I might make a video soon called, I bought my dream car. It's a nightmare. Someone said, are you dating? Yes. <laughs> Expiration dating. I'm getting older. Someone said, how's life in your newish apartment? Um, thank you for still calling it new. <laughs> it's okay. My living room, like, I need to set it up more. I honestly don't spend that much time in my living room. I have so much furniture I need to sell. And just so much shit I need to sell. I got, like, a MacBook, an iPad, an Apple TV. I feel like one of those Twitter hackers who's like, I'm selling MacBooks. But I literally am. I have so much stuff I need to sell. I need to list it. <laughs> that would help. What do you miss most about living with Chris? I miss seeing him. <laughs> I never see him. I miss being surrounded, like, I'm kind of realizing I don't really have many, like, creator friends anymore. Like, I feel like all my friends have kind of turned into, like, actors, musicians, directors. So yeah, I guess I miss, like, being surrounded by someone with common goals. Any more eating like a celebrity for a day fits? Yes, probably next week. Someone said, do you want to get married one day? Mm, no, I definitely want to be single forever and rotting on my deathbed alone. Sorry. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Whoa. Alrighty. Well, I feel like I'm running out of questions. Has this been enjoyable? Guys, I'm sorry it's been so long. I'm trying to get back into it. This video is kind of just like a casual little something just to get back in the flow. Real, actual quality videos should start back up soon. Oh wait, oh my god, my sister said, do I wear heels or flats to the wedding? LOL. Guys, my sister's getting married in October. Um, I don't know the answer to that question though, sorry. <laughs> wear what feels more comfortable? I don't know. I could keep rambling, honestly. I feel like there's so much we have to catch up on. Girly, it's been so long. But I do feel like like I've been filming for a while, so I'm gonna wrap this up. This has been fun. We cleaned out my kitchen. Of course, I'm not gonna throw this all away. Don't worry, I might throw this away. 
Sorry. <laughs> Alright, well, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for still being here. I really, really appreciate it. Alright, I hope that was entertaining. I'm sorry. I'll be back soon with real content that's not just a Q&A eating session. But, alright. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.